Well, how do there, chums? It's a cup of tea with Captain Steve. We're going to be doing a review of the Singularity Expedition, if you can view that. It's like, yes, we are. Now, I only really experienced one bug, and that was when I put on that solar wing helm type thing, the Wayfarer's helm. The actual side panels went into my view, and you got some, like peripheral sort of weirdness going on. That's the only real bug that I had. Anyway, we're going to be jumping over into game because I've now completed the expedition, and it's about time I could do my review. Right, oh, people, what you can probably see on the screen, I've now got my robot little Atlantid type looking chap. Yeah, isn't he wonderful? Isn't he lovely? Yes, yeah, so and that means that the expedition is now finished, which means I'm at a point where I can successfully do a review of this. Now, although they've given us five weeks to do this, and it only takes probably about five to six hours to go through it all, even if you go in slow, and that was with all the handing in of these sort of like weird solely type things. Anyway, I've gone and opened up one of the head choices. There is a secondary one. Which means, if you do this the legit way, you're going to run it a second time. And having the five weeks, that's pretty darn good. So yeah, I'm going to now just you know, casually play this every day until I've done it a second time and get the second head. So I kind of like the fact that there's two optional rewards at the end and two optional endings, which has been pretty freaking awesome for an expedition. Now look at that. I've just got a, I've got a subscriber, Chibi. Well, thank you, Chibi. Chibi, Chibi, Chibi Sephiroth. Heck yeah, it's a nice one, mate. Anyways, people, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed this expedition. I mean, I must say, though, in the different phases, there were quite a lot of repetition with the maths quizzes, the going to the um, atlas and things like that. And if you'd done these out of order, sometimes it would cause some weird sort of issues. There were some bugged out ones like rampancy, which wasn't counting the sentinel kills just right. However, there has been a fix for that now. So if you're hitting this up as of today, hopefully that fixed but there were little mini workarounds there were some little headaches did they affect me though no if you watch my playthrough i managed to do it all just fine and dandy so every review that i've done to date people i've always reviewed the game and the expedition based on my own experience on my own experience i didn't experience any of the bugs and didn't have to implement any of the real workarounds and for me this has been a seamless bug free experience on playstation 5 i haven't had any crashes or anything like that so for me i'm going to review this in the way that i experienced it and i'm going to be giving this a 9.2 out of 10 because it had all the law it had everything there the only thing that's made it not a 10 out of 10 in my opinion is the fact that we had a couple of time gates on there which I'm not too keen on time gates there was one where you talked to Polo and then you had to wait 10 minutes why why have to wait 10 minutes that was a bit of a weird one it would have been nice if maybe he just sent you on a little fetch quest to get some bits and bobs for him or something just standing around waiting for 10 minutes was 10 minutes dead time and then the last time gate of you know having to do the community stuff as a community measure but then I guess that was kind of fun in a roundabout way you could take part in it you could have done as much as you wanted on there or not it would have been nice to have a personal marker bar to show us where the cutoff was for the amount that we've actually submitted so i've heard that it's 50 by some some people's i've heard other people say that it's 30 there's mixed messages out there of how much that limit was that limit is no longer a thing so it doesn't really matter now but it mattered at the time so yeah it's lost a couple of points just through confusion um, I'm not marking it down for the staggered release. There was a two day sort of delay coming to PlayStation 5. I think that would be unfair to mark down Hello Games since it could be over the, uh, the um, software houses side. I made a whole video on that. I put that up there, kaboom. It's still not over on Switch as yet. So I did a little mini rant video as well. So I'll probably put the rant video on the end card. Hit that one up if you're a Switch player. But yeah, I'm hoping it comes to Switch soon, people inside the viewerverse. I really am. But anyway, peeps, for me, yeah, a 9.2 out of 10. I loved all the lore. And even though there was some repetition, I honestly think that the actual rewards at the end of it, I mean, look at it. You look freaking cool was worth doing and also you get that sort of head visory type one as well with the solar wings on the side all the bugs have been fixed inside of that helmet now too so you don't get any visual glitches so you know what 
I'm actually quite happy with this. I think this was quite a solid expedition and I really do hope that we get more of the same. In fact, we know we're getting more of the same because Sean Murray said this is a one of four in parts of arc and storyline and hopefully it's going to be culminating into something large. I mean, we do know the Void Mother is definitely a thing now. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a lore episode soon, a lore deep dive. If that sounds good to you where I'm going to be talking about all this stuff to do with the Void Mother and, and things, um, hit all those buttons. You know what buttons I'm on about, people. You do. Heck yes. Until next time, salute them on though. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.